Uh, so Bridget Jones is back, and uh, yeah, I mean, now you're a, uh, a two-time BAFTA winner, an Oscar winner, and you're returning to the world of Bridget Jones. I guess you you arrived uh, on set of an entourage, making all these high demands, you know? Oh yeah, no, I was almost unrecognised. I bet, I bet. What is it, what do you think that, uh, this film offers that the uh, first two didn't? Well, I suppose the easy, quick answer is passage of time. Um, you can't re just create that. I mean, you can try. Um, if we had followed the second film with loads of prosthetics to make us look as if those 15 years had gone by, <laughs> it wouldn't have had the same effect, partly because what we have now is the fact the audience have aged with us. So hopefully, you know, if the film works at all, it'll be because it'll resonate. You know, the passage of time will resonate. The, we've got nostalgia going mm. for it, I suppose. But also the fact that you know, we check in with these characters and they, they're still making mistakes. And they're still, you know, they have their various whatever triumphs and disappointments. Well, you know, so does everybody else. And so I think, you know, even if it's just for the purposes of comedy, you set your own experiences against sure. what you see on screen. Yeah. I suppose you also got uh, added Emma Thompson, right? And, uh, well, there's all that. I mean, <laughs> you've, got, you've, got, you've got, yes, we've got lots of incredibly, um, you know, the, it's added fresh blood, I think, to its immense credit, Patrick as well. Um, you know, so I think it's a, it's a great blend of, of the, the old chestnuts and the, um, the fresh faces. Yeah, and how was it reuniting with, uh, with Renee, as well as Bridget, with Renee? Uh, wonderful. Uh, that's when I knew, or, or started to become optimistic, that uh, this was worth doing. Yeah. Because I, I had as many doubts as everyone else. You know, we all have, you know, a, 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 a reasonable scepticism of sequels, of course. Um, but when I saw how alive she was in the role, and you know, how, you know, she was on such good form, I thought, this, I think we're, we may be in good shape. Great. And uh, were you, were you, were you not not sad, but were you disappointed in any way not to be able to uh, get to punch Hugh in the nose? Yeah. Well, I, at first I thought it can't possibly work. I thought, you know, Hugh was uh, so essential to it. I had no idea he would prove to be completely irrelevant. And. Uh, <laughs> As indeed, I think I would be. I think, you know, Bridget would probably um, be just, I mean, she'd certainly be fine as a character. Yeah. But I think these films could probably, I don't want to talk myself out of a job, and I think they could do without any of the rest of us, really. Completely. Um, no, I thought it couldn't work without you. Um, and I think it was really only once Patrick showed up and I saw him just, you know, define it so well and be, and be so charming. Yeah, I thought, no, we're fine now. Yeah, no, he's a great addition, he yeah. is. And uh, I was speaking to Eric Fellner earlier on today, and he said, I asked him uh, of, of all the films that he's worked on, if there's any other other sequels he'd like to do potentially one day. And he, he cited Love Actually, actually. As one. Oh, did he? He did, yeah. But he said only if Richard would return. <laughs> would you would you be down for that? Oh, my goodness, you just sent a shiver down my spine. <laughs> um, uh, it's never been asked or suggested before. Uh, I suppose, would it need to be the same people um, I don't know it's, uh, yeah why not I'm you know I'll take whatever comes yeah you know, just show me a good script and the people are there I'll you know, yeah